Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you Podly's new Chrome extension. It is brand new and it helps you optimize your Amazon Merch product listings using AI. It's trained on a bunch of Amazon Merch product listing data to help us perfect our listings, both our new ones, and we can go backwards and optimize our old ones using their new AI. It'll do the title, the brands, the bullets, even the description, and it's got a built-in check to help us identify trigger words that might resu result in a rejection, and it also scans for trademarked words. So you're going to want to see this video. I'm going to walk you through how to use it. It's very easy, very intuitive, and you can try it for free right now. So why don't we get started? All right, so check this out, guys. Use the link in the description to open your account. All you need to do is input your email address right here and click Get Access. They will email you a link to access the Chrome extension. Now you can use it for free. As I mentioned, they do have a free tier right now. All right, so use it while it's free. No reason not to. Uh, and then you'll have the option to upgrade in the future based on your needs. They're also, by the way, branching into KDP. So their research tool that's amazing for Amazon Merch. Also, you'll get to benefit if you're a KDP seller as well. But now let me show you the Chrome extension. So once you've added it, go ahead and click it in the top right corner and it'll tell you to log in. Because I'm already logged in, that is what I see. We actually don't need to really interact with the Chrome extension up there. What it does is, and you may need to refresh the page, but uh, depending on when you uh, logged in, but once you're logged in, guys, come here and create a new Amazon Merch product listing. So, or you can also edit your existing ones, whichever you wanna do. Uh, in this case, I just uploaded this design. It's got the colorful uh, NASA <laughs> rocket and it says back to home, all right? So now I'm gonna scroll down all the way down here and oh, that looks a little different. So this is the all listing creator by Podly, all right? This is right away, I don't wanna overcomplicate this. Let me show you the low hanging fruit, most common use case. So we've got our, you know, space rocket flying through outer space. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click into where it says search term and I can type in outer space. Now they're actually using Amazon's API to pull in suggestions from their advertising API. So the advertising API is a nice little like nudge, nudge, wink, wink, like hint of what search terms related to the seed phrase we typed in, people are actually looking for. Zoom out for 10 seconds, guys. If you wanna sell something to people online, you want to optimize your product listing for keywords and key phrases that people are actually typing into the search bar this is how you find what those terms are, all right? You can also just go over to Amazon and use the autocomplete function, but Podly has built in a connection with the Amazon Ads API to give you suggestions right here. So you can either use these suggestions that it gives you, or if you are confident in your keywords, just go ahead and type in like, I'm gonna type in outer space shirt. Now you're not supposed to reference a single product type, but what we're doing right now, we're feeding phrases into the AI and the AI is going to actually generate our title, brand, bullets, description, etc. So outer space shirt, I'm going to do, how about we type in like space rocket and I'm just going to say shirt again, saying shirt doesn't really, it's not harmful right now. And if you don't actually tell it kind of what product in general to optimize for, it may optimize for something random, right? So this is a nice way of honing in uh, specifically on something. So we have that, we have that, and we have, um, what is a outer space shirt, space rocket shirt, um, flying into outer space shirt. All right. So I put three phrases in and now I'm going to click generate. You can feel free to add more or less guys, whatever you think works, but all you have to do is click generate. When you hover over the generate button, it even says, let Podly do all the work for you. Uh, yes, please. I'm going to hit generate, give it just a second. And down here, you'll see your product details. So you have your design title and your brand, and then you have a separate section for the optimal features. Those are your bullet one, bullet two, and your description. So it is, you know, about what, eight, nine, 10 seconds later, it's generating our title. It says, explore the cosmos rocket into outer space design. Pretty good title, if you ask me. Uh, brand, it says starry skies apparel. Uh, this outer space design is perfect for those who dream of exploring the cosmos. Featuring a rocket soaring into the stars, it's an ideal gift for space enthusiasts, astronomy lovers, or anyone with a sense of adventure. Bullet two. 
Made from soft and comfortable fabric, this flying into outer space design is not only stylish, but also wearable uh, for every day. Whether you're a attending a sci-fi convention or simply want to show off your love for space, this design is a must-have. Now, you'll notice it actually checks for words that it thinks are trigger words, like it says the word gift is not allowed. So we can actually click right here. It says replace disallowed keywords. I just clicked it and it removed a reference to the word gift. So if it's got a, it basically probably has a list of words built in that we shouldn't include and it will flag them for us. Um, also, it says made from soft and comfortable fabric. I personally wouldn't be comfortable including a reference to the material because I know that people used to do that back in the day, 2017, 2018. And in like 2019, 2020 ish, Amazon merch made a push uh, for us to not do that, right? Because we don't really have any control over the actual material. So I might actually manually just remove this part and say this flying into outer space design and just start it there with no reference to the uh, product type. Uh, we have a description here. Explore the cosmos rocket into outer space design. Uh, this outer space design is perfect for those who dream of exploring the cosmos featuring a rocket soaring into the stars. So you, you see where it's going. It's honestly reusing the bullets a little bit here, which I personally am a fan of doing. Although there is a reference here made from this soft and comfortable fabric. I'm going to remove that there. Uh, also, if you wanted to, there is actually a bulk replace. So where it said uh, made from that soft and comfortable fabric, if I wanted to, I could actually just cut that or I could copy it, move up here to the search for, paste it, and then hit replace with and just put the capital letter T because it's going to start right there. And I want it to be the first word. So I'm going to hit replace. And boom. Right there, it removed the reference to this comfortable fabric, and it just said capital T. This flying into outer space design, so hopefully what I just did there makes sense. Anybody who's done programming before, it's pretty common, right? Um, anyways, it generated just like that. Like, I'm spending a long time kind of showing you the output, but you can just move from design to design to design to design. If you're in a high tier like me, this will really speed up and expedite your process. Now, of course... It's print on demand. It's Amazon merch. We need to check for trademarks. Ideally, you check for trademarks before you start your design. But if you're outsourcing the optimization for your SEO, uh, you need to make sure all these keywords are safe. Guess what? They have a built in trademark check. All you do is click right here. It says check for trademark. I'm going to click that. Give it a second. And now it is putting in yellow single uh, matching keywords to a trademark record. And in red, it is multiple words. Okay. For the single trademarks, in orange, you can almost always just ignore those. It is extremely rare for a trademark to be live and registered and result in a rejection for a single word on like a class 25 t-shirt or something. Anybody who's uploaded to Amazon Merch in the past, you probably know this, okay? It doesn't mean that some idiot might not report you and say, oh, I own this trademark record and you referenced the word. You know, it's like people don't get how it works, but they can abuse these systems. Anyways, table that story for another day. The red multi-word, you may actually want to look at. So what you can do is actually click them, all right? So I just click the red multi-word potential trademark. In this case, outer space is what is flagged as red. So I'm going to click that, and it launches a pop-up. Now, this pop-up gives us all the relevant trademark data that we need based on what it is seeing in the scan of this page. I recommend, generally speaking, I'm typically more worried about the U.S. market uh, trademarks. And the niche class, you can just hit all. And then this is also filtering down these records, by the way. That's why I'm doing it. Under status, I'm really only worried about registered. You know what I mean? Because people can file for trademarks and not get them. They get published for opposition and it takes like eight, nine months. And a lot of them don't go through if they're frivolous. So I hit registered and now it filters this down significantly for us. And then word count, don't forget this one all the way on the right-hand side, click multi because the single ones are so rarely a problem. So click multi, and this is what we're looking at. Three trademark records, they all say outer space. They're all registered, okay? Uh, the niche class right here is 9, 16, and 24. Uh, if you, so niche class 9 is mobile accessories. So maybe we uncheck um, phone cases. Niche class 16 is books, which is for KDP, so we're fine there. And niche class 24 is shower curtains, which we're not selling. So I think the safe thing to do here, based on the research that Podly just assisted us in doing, would be to come up here, click select products, and then, what was it? It was phone accessories. So we will uncheck the pop socket grips, and we will uncheck the phone cases for Samsung and iPhone. And then we should be good to go, guys.
Um, obviously, like I skipped the part where we come in here, change our pricing, uh, select our colors, etc. Right. So you go ahead and do that, and then go ahead and submit, guys. And it is that simple. The new Podly Chrome extension again. You can use it for free right now. Uh, again, when you use the link, you just input your email address. They will send you a link to add the Chrome extension right now. You can use the free tier. So I would highly recommend you at least give it a shot uh, and outsource some of this headache to AI. It's not a generic AI. They trained the AI off of Amazon Merch listing data. The more data it consumes, the better the output. I actually really like this title for a potential um, title for this design, right? So give it a shot, guys. Let me know what you think. It is available. The link is at the top of the description, trying to make your life as easy as possible. If you found this useful, please let me know in the comments. Also hit that like button. The YouTube algorithm loves when you do that. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.